this is the 3090 as you can see here from msi gaming x trio it's a very decent gpu as you can see here we got 64 gigabytes of ram 5900x and uh, about 10 terabytes of storage check this out guys look i have so many gpus like look look at this so this is the 6700 xt it's absolutely fine but this is the th other 3090 the zotac 3090 that i had before the msi one i put it uh, in my brother's pc this is my brother's pc and unbelievably it is really quiet it seems like because it's an open bench the gpu is not overheating at all and like, it's, honestly i was surprised at how quiet it is like when i had it in my pc it was really 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 loud but uh, yeah now with msi 3090 is working absolutely fine but uh, the coil wine is killing me <laughs> like the fan noise is very very minimal but uh, the coil wine is really awful you can't just have a silent pc there's there got to be something that is noisy and honestly like there is many things in the PC that makes noise for example the power supply my power supply makes an annoying noise it's a coil wine too bro this coil wine like <laughs> so awful man so awful um so basically this is it the 3090 is working absolutely fine but uh, this MSI 3090 cost me exactly six hundred dollars which is which is about $65 more than the Zotac one, which honestly I think absolutely worth it, especially the like G new GPUs that came out, like the honestly AMD GPUs 7900X and the 7900XTX and XTX, X, bro, so many Xs. Anyway, the 7900XTX is okay. I would not say it blew me away, but it's just okay. Like yes, in comparison to the 4080, the rasterization performance is actually exactly the same in gaming, okay? Not in other workloads. For example, in Blender, it's a joke. Like the performance of it compares to the 3080, which is like, this is why I will never buy an AMD GPU again. Like unless it's an extremely, extremely good value for money, I will not buy it. Simple as that not only in blender like for example in video editing the amd gpus are awful they are not optimized for any software like they are only good for gaming that that's it this is why i bro i just hate amd gpus and believe it or not i spent many years amd gpus but i switched finally when i had some money okay <laughs> i didn't i was really broke i spent many years with my rx 580 especially that i was really broke i didn't have any money i was i i wasn't financially independent like right now i i am financially dependent from my parents thankfully i didn't go to college and waste my money i went straight to work yeah <laughs> all my friends went to college and all of them are screwed they are screwed <laughs> and look at me working absolutely fine and honestly i think i did absolutely take the right decision dropping from college i didn't even drop from college i didn't even attend college i said to college the fuck out of here man you want me to go to college you want me to pay all these you really want me to to pay all this for fucking waste my time are, are you fucking crazy man like are you are you mad are you mad do you are you high <laughs> so yeah i i am thankfully i didn't go to a college i make money right now i buy all these pc parts <laughs> Bro, this is funny. This makes me feel good. Obviously, don't take my words and like, oh, I will job from college. I will work. <laughs> no, it's not as simple as that. Like you need to have some sort of discipline. Okay, like a lot of people just want the easiest way. They just don't like to work. They don't like hard work. They just want, they are just lazy ass people want to have an excuse to sit down and <laughs> and uh, sleep or like do some weird shit if you are one of this kind of people 
it will probably better staying in college you know because if for instance you drop from college and oh i can't work hard and i don't like this work and i don't like that you will eventually just be broke and yeah so you need to be cautious taking my words okay <laughs> so this is it guys honestly i will buy a 1490 but uh, bro my country is fucking me up fucking me up hard very hard because the taxes are fucking a hundred percent in my country i am fucked hard so <laughs> Yeah, it is. This is the truth. Honestly, bro, life is hard, especially when you live in a country where the taxes is fucking high. <sighs> what can you do, man? You really don't know how much valuable the low taxes. Like, especially in the United States, you may say, "Oh, so much taxes." In comparison to other countries, especially my country, bro, you are in heaven. I like, just to give you an example, iPhone 14 Pro Max. The MSRP of the 128 gigabytes model, it costs $1,000, exactly $1,000. Do you know how much it costs in my country? It costs $2,400, basically 140%. So this is why I am saying the taxes is fucking me hard, so much. And for the 1490, for instance, it costs around $3,000 which is about double the cost of the MSRP. Like imagine uh, in country, you can buy two 1490s, not like a billion, I'm not Jeff Bezos, I am not Elon Musk to afford it, you know? <laughs> $30,000, are you mad? Are you, what, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah honestly the 1480 really impressed me like so impressive the 4080 is really didn't impress me at all uh, the amd gpus maybe maybe but barely competing with the 4080 the one who have a terrible value so i'm not interested in the other gpus i am interested in the 1490 1490 is a beast it's a beast that in so many years we didn't see a huge leap in performance until now until we got the 1490 so i am really really trying my best to buy a 1490 but man right now i can't <laughs> so this is it guys hope you enjoyed subscribe and like and goodbye